of Life in Memphis paid their respects this afternoon at the funeral for Greater Memphis Chamber President and CEO Phil Trenieri. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katina Rankin. Richard has the night off. Trenieri was shot in downtown Memphis last Thursday night and died shortly after in the hospital. Local 24's Brad Broders is live outside Christ United Methodist Church. That is the site of Trenieri's service this afternoon. Brad. Yeah, good evening, Katina. Phil Trenieri's longtime friends and colleagues that he leaves behind a lasting impact and legacy. A man who spent decades promoting and building Memphis's economy, arts, and culture. Today is about uh, celebrating a life well lived. Uh, someone who uh, loved our city. And friends and colleagues of Phil Trenary showed their love back this afternoon as they said goodbye to a Memphis leader and visionary unexpectedly gone. Phil wants, would want his work to continue. He would not want us to look back and feel sorry for him. Those who worked for years alongside the former airline executive said he led the Greater Memphis Chamber with heart, passion, and inclusiveness. He cared about people. You know, he was a, a champion for uh, minority uh, businesses and uh, diversity in the workplace. Uh, and, uh, you know, none of that's going to change. That's why those who knew Trenary well said his legacy will be others continuing the momentum in the city he cared deeply for and championed. Memphis is a city that's uh, got a lot of great things going in the right direction, and, you know, we cannot be deterred by that. Who's going to bring that hope back? And you know who that who's going to be? It's going to be the team that he left. Now, speakers at Phil Trenary's funeral included his children, AutoZone funder Pitt Hyde and Church Health founder Dr. Scott Morris. Reporting live in East Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.